Covering Columbia this morning, the True False Film Festival is set to kick off today back in full force following the COVID-19 pandemic. ABC 17's Ben Fine is live from downtown Columbia this morning where it'll be much busier later today. And Ben, many are excited for True False to return to those normal venues. Molly, organizers, officials, and especially attendees are all very happy to see the festival return to downtown Columbia after it was held outside at Stevens Lake Park last year due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Now, ABC 17's Hannah Falcon spoke with businesses earlier this week who told us the festival helps fill an entertainment and tourism gap in between big University of Missouri events in Columbia. The festival encourages all those attending to shop small at local Local businesses in downtown Columbia, with over 40 restaurants also being listed on the festival's map for True False attendees to visit. During a normal year, organizers can expect about 15,000 people to come to the festival, with the event typically bringing in millions of dollars. Organizers are hoping to see those numbers this year after expecting only around 3,000 attendees at last year's festival. Now, while the event is back in full force this year, True False will still require either a vaccination, proof of vaccination that is, or negative tests from all attendees, staff, as well as volunteers. And Molly, you'll also want to make sure you bring that mask with you as theaters such as the Missouri Theater here behind me will require them while indoors. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Ben Fine, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you, Ben. Now, in the last five days, Boone County's seen an average of 16.2 cases per day. When True False kicked off in May of last year, that was at 5.4 cases on average. However, the state health department says nearly 66% of people in the county have now initiated vaccinations against COVID-19, as compared to last year when they were not widely available.